The Springboks arrived back to a subdued welcome with only a handful of fans braving the Johannesburg traffic to be at OR Tambo International for the arrival of the Rugby World Cup bronze medalists. National coach Annika May, whose job is under review next month with the South African Rugby Union's General Council, says it was good to be home, but lots of hard work lies ahead to improve South African rugby. But I just feel if you want to be the best team in the world, we have to work together as a nation. I'll just give you one simple example. Uh, we have to look at, the, at our system at all levels, from schoolboy level up. Uh, it's not just, I believe, the national coach, although you take full responsibility. That's the things I believe we need to look at as a nation. Uh, it makes me excitement, it's not uh, criticism. I just believe that all agents, all players, all everybody works together for the national cause. We can be unstoppable, and that's the things that you have to look at. Springbok captain and veteran scrum off Rita Prier says the World Cup has been a roller coaster ride for him personally. Um, it was an emotional ride for me this, this last few weeks, which I really loved. Um, um, it's one of the best experiences in my career. And coming up short was, 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 quite, was obviously um, tough to take. Former Springbok captain Jean de Villiers believes the men in green and gold should be praised for their careers and focus on the positives from the campaign. You know, we come back to South Africa now, and obviously the, the campaign for us has been disappointing. Uh, <clears throat> I think the whole country wanted us to win. We really wanted to win, and there, there can still be a lot to take out of this campaign. And I think if we can see the positives, if we can take it for the next four years, the next campaign when we start again, you know, then, uh, then I think South African rugby is on the right track. Although there's no shame in winning bronze at a Rugby World Cup, the standards set by the Springbok fans and the coaching staff are extremely high. They expect nothing less than winning the William Webb Ellis Trophy. But this time round, the Bok coach has admitted there's a lot of hard work that needs to be done. But for now, they're going to take some time off, reflect on what's happened and praise the outgoing box who put their bodies on the line for so many years. CS Duplessis, CCTV, Johannesburg.